Hi guys, this is Drew with uh, Northridge Community Church. I am uh, here with the Behringer X32 today, and I am wanting to show you guys how to set up um, the Behringer X32 to feed your biamp speakers with a sub, um, and then also a configuration where you're just having a right-left um, mains with a sub. That you can actually program the X32 to have the different Butterworth filters in it so that the X32 through the matrix um, section can become your system processor um, for maybe like a, a live uh, event where you're setting up a few things. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend using this for a system processor in a larger church where you have a more complex setup, uh, but if you're using a very simple setup, maybe um, four speakers and a sub, uh, this would be a perfect um, setup for you. So I have my board um, completely initialized, so it is uh, very stock. Uh, so it's it's the factory configuration that you would get it um, from Behringer. Uh, I am up graded to the firmware 1.11, um, so you'll want to do this because in firmware 1.10 they added the um, Butterworth filters in the matrix section. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, bring the right side of the board into the matrix section and I'm going to show you guys these labels. Um, now I went ahead and left the labels so I didn't have to reprogram the labels for you. Um, but you can see here on matrix one, uh, it's labeled high frequency, mid frequency, left. Uh, this one, matrix two, is the same thing but right. Uh, matrix three and four is the low frequency left and right. And matrix five is our subwoofer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and link matrix one and two, matrix three and four, and then five is going to be our sub. So by doing this, um, whatever I'm doing in my stereo bus um, will go left, right to the mix one and two, left, right to the mix three and four, and then uh, mix five is going to be mono. Uh, and the reason I'm running subs in a mono is because our human brain can't really decipher left versus right from subwoofers. So it's kind of silly to have uh, a stereo set of subwoofers. Just keep them mono, uh, let them work together. Um, so anyway, I am going to go ahead and show you guys how to link uh, matrix 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and zoom in a little bit more on the screen up here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and select matrix 1 and 2. And then we are going to go ahead and press the configuration preamp uh, page. And we can page over to it by using the page select buttons on the right side of the board. There is a button here that says link, and so we're selected on matrix one, and we're going to go ahead and press link. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and confirm. So that means that matrix one and two are now linked. Now we're going to go press select on matrix three and do the same thing, press link and confirm. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out so you can see uh, basically uh, what's going on down here. So now uh, matrix one and two, when I raise them, the faders are paired because they're linked. Matrix three and four are paired and matrix five is by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and turn these up to zero. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create the Butterworth filter in the EQ section. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, high frequency, mid frequency at first. So we're gonna go ahead and select uh, matrix one and I'm going to go ahead and pan back up to the uh, LCD screen for a little bit more instruction here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, go over to the EQ section, and you can press the View button and the Equalizer on the left side of the board, or you can use your Page Select. So we're now in the EQ. Um, to change the... Um, so with the Matrix section, uh, the Equalizer uh, uses... Um, if you were to take, if you were going to, sorry, I am really bad right now. Um, so the, the Butterworth filter uses one and two or five and six. And so um, you basically have to select the Butterworth filter on uh, the uh, first parametric EQ or the sixth parametric EQ. Um, so your number one would be the low side and number six would be the high side. So since we're gonna be um, adjusting this for the high frequency and mid frequency, say our um, crossover frequency for the high and mid is at 500 hertz. I'm just gonna throw out a number there. You'll wanna look at your manuals. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use the layer button and page over to layer four. 
and this is our mode. So now we're going to go to our first knob and we're going to rotate this past high cut and then you start seeing uh, BU6, BU12, BS12, um, LR12. So these are the different types of filters that we have. So we're going to go ahead and select BU24 which is a Butterworth uh, 24 decibels per octave. Um, so now our uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and layer back up to the frequency and now we can adjust this frequency up to 500 Hertz or really close. So we're going to be doing 499 or 496. So now when we go and select matrix 2 we will notice that it's the same on the EQ section because these two are linked. So whatever you're doing to matrix 1 will copy over to matrix 2. Whatever you do on matrix 2 will copy over to matrix 1 because they're linked. So now we're going to go ahead and go over to the matrix 3 section and we're going to create the high frequency shelf and the low frequency shelf on either side of the stuff. So we're going to go ahead and press select on matrix 3 and we're going to page down to layer 4 and we're going to go all the way over to uh, BU24 and then on the far left knob we're going to go ahead and head over to BU24 and so now we're going to layer back up to the frequency which is page 2 and we're going to adjust the high side to 496 and our low side is going to say be 100 Hertz so we're going to do 101.4 so now uh, we have our high frequency and mid frequency speakers, our low frequency driver on our speakers, and now we're going to add in the sub which will cut off at 100 hertz as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit our matrix 5 and page back down to layer 4, go over to BU24, page back up to the frequency, adjust this all the way down to 100 hertz because that's where our imaginary sub cuts off. So now, as you can see in this EQ section, that our subwoofer cuts off at 100, our low frequency starts at 100 and cuts off at 500, and our mid frequency and high frequency drivers start at 500 and go all the way up. So we have now have uh, finished the EQ section of this part. So now what we need to do is we need to feed these matrix from the stereo fader. And so I'm going to go ahead and select the stereo fader, which is the left-right fader. So we're going to press the select button. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to zero. You can't see it because I don't have it on the screen right now. But we are now going to go over to sends. So we can use our page select button to go over to sends. And so now we can see up here, and let me zoom in just a little bit more. You can see that 1 and 2 are linked, 3 and 4 are linked, and 5 is by itself. So I'm going to zoom out here. Okay, so um, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to put even amounts of volume into all of our speakers. Now, you can use this to uh, raise and lower the volume of your sub if you want to, um, but for our purposes today, we're going to be keeping everything even. So whatever you're doing EQ-wise um, is going to be even across the board. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our knob for level 1 and 2 and turn this up to 0. And so that is now at 0 decibels. And now the second fader, or the second rotary knob turns into your pan. So you can actually pan right and left on your matrix uh, section. Um, and today we're going to be keeping everything even. So now we're taking the matrix 3 and 4 up to 0 decibels. And so this is what's being sent from our stereo fader into our matrix section. So now we're going to go over to level 5 and turn this up to 0 as well. Very good. So um, what we can now, uh, now we can see that our uh, high frequency and mid frequency, which is 1 and 2, are being fed at 0 decibels. Uh, low frequency is fed at 0 decibels and our subs are being fed at zero decibels as well. So everything is even. So if I was going to go ahead and play through some music into the board um, and I can go solo these different things, you would notice that uh, if you soloed the high frequency, mid frequency, you'd be listening to that range. The low frequency, you'd be listening to the smaller range. And the subs, you'd be listening to the low frequency on that.
So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set up the outputs of the board to send off to the uh, system now. Um, so you can configure it to whatever outputs you want to, but today I am going to uh, put matrix one, uh, two, three, four, and five out into output one, two, three, four, and five to keep it nice and easy. So we're gonna go ahead and press the routing button and we are going to go to analog out. Uh, I call these the omni outputs. Um, so we have our output one, two, three, four, and five. So um, output one, we are going to go over to category and the rotary knob right beneath it is right here. We're gonna go to matrix and now we can see matrix one and we press assign and we will want to go and make sure the post fader is selected. So we go ahead and press select. And now we're going to go back over to the left uh, rotary knob and we are going to rotate this to output two. And this is going to be matrix two. So then we press assign, make sure it's post fader. Output three is going to be matrix three. So assign and make sure it's post fader. Four, matrix four, assign, post fader, matrix five, is going to be output five, assign, post fader. Now, um, one cool thing is we do have a delay section on our outputs. So if you are running, say, a uh, dual subwoofer setup that you are trying to run in a um, directional configuration, and Dave Rat has some really good videos on that, um, you can actually delay inside the board. So if you wanted to, you could have your um, matrix five um, be um, one of the subs and matrix six be the other, and then you can actually delay um, one of them by, uh, you know, five feet or however much you want to do that. Um, so you can feed uh, the outputs this off of the same matrix. Um, so we would see still feeding them off of matrix five, but the output would be output six and it would be delayed by five feet. So we can go ahead and press um, matrix five, assign post fader and delay it by five feet or 4.4 milliseconds. And you'll wanna go ahead and measure all that stuff out. So now we have configured the board um, to anything that is sent to the left right fader uh, to be going out um, the different by amp uh, with the sub. Now, if we were wanting to set this up as maybe a uh, full range left and right with a sub, we would just change the EQ um, section. So we would basically be removing uh, the uh, matrix three and four. Um, so we would um, go back to our matrix one and we would assign where our curve is on the low side down to wherever you want your subs to start kicking in. Um, so say 100 hertz. So we would go ahead and adjust our frequency down to 100 hertz. And so that's our left and right. And then our subwoofers can be matrix three um, or matrix five. You can really set it up any way you want to. So this is a really quick just tutorial on how to set up the X32 into a uh, biamp with a sub uh, setup. If you have any questions, feel free to post below. Um, and it's a really, really cool, uh, flexible thing that you can do if you're in a pinch and don't uh, either have a budget and don't have the money for an extra system processor. Um, this is where the flexibility of the X32 really comes into, uh, into play. So thank you very much for watching.